So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy a WAR file in Tomcat on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So let's start. So here, first of all, we need to understand what is Tomcat. So the Apache Tomcat is an open source implementation of the Java servlet, Java server pages, Java expression language, and web socket technology. And Tomcat is developed and maintained by a free community of developers. Then Tomcat is a lightweight, easy to use, has a robust ecosystem of add-ons and power many large scale web applications. So that's a small introduction about Tomcat. Now let's deploy WAR file. So for that, firstly, we need to install Java. So firstly, we need to update our system package, right? So let's deploy WAR file on Tomcat on Ubuntu 22.04 ATS. So as you can see here, I have launched one instance with the name Tomcat and the system is Ubuntu 22.04 ATS. So first of all, let's update our system package. So as you can see here, I have successfully connected to my terminal and let's update our system package. So the command is sudo apt update. I'm going to update my system package. As you can see, it's done. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. And now the next step is install Java. So how to install? So the Java version supported is eight or above. So here we are getting Java 11. So let's install Java 11. That's the latest version of Java. So yes, I want to install. So as you can see, it's installing Java. Open JDK 11. So wait for a few seconds. It takes a few so, seconds to install. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first and then check your Java version. So the command is java hyphen version. So as you can see here, the version is 11, right? Okay. okay. Okay, we have successfully installed Java. Now the next step is download Apache Tomcat. So how to download? So you can get the latest version directly from this official page page of Tomcat. So you can download from here. So copy this address of tar.gz file, right? So first of all, let's open this official page of Tomcat. And after that, here, we are going to uh, copy this star.zz file from this official page of Tomcat, right? Okay. So the, this is the official page of Tomcat. So the latest version is Tomcat 10, right? Okay. So here in binary code, here I'm going to copy this star.zz file link address copy the link address and then here install using wgit uh, right and then paste this link okay it's done if i run the ls command as you can see we have successfully downloaded this tar.gz file okay now we need to extract this file so how to extract so use the command now install apache tomcat on ubuntu right so how to install so first of all, we need to extract the downloaded file in this directory slash opt directory. So for that, first of all, we need to create a directory under this opt directory. So we are going to create new directory with the name Tomcat. So let's run this command to create Tomcat directory under this opt directory. Okay. Now the next step is extract the download file. So how to extract it, you can see here we are going to extract this download file in this directory. Which directory? On opt slash tomcat. That means we are going to extract this file on tomcat directory. So let's run this command. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first. Okay. Now, the next is create a dedicated user so our username is tomcat so for that 
let's run this command to create user okay then let's run this command to give some permissions okay now it's done let the screen first now the fourth step is give tomcat user permission so we need to run this command as you can see now let's assign the permission of the folder to the user we have created above for it so the folder name is tomcat right so for that we need to run these commands to give permissions and the second one okay now let's clear the screen okay Done. Now, the step fifth is create a systemd service file. So by default, we won't have a systemd unit file for Tomcat to run the background and to easily stop, start, enable its service. So here we are going to create a right, systemd uh, file. So how to create? So the command is here. I'm going to use my favorite editor nano and let's create a systemd service file. Here we need to add this below lines. And this line, as you can see, here first of all our JDK environment, right? That means path. After that, our Tomcat folder path. You can see, right? Okay. Now let's save the file and exit. Okay. Now, the sixth step is to start enable Tomcat service. So, how to start? So, first of all, let's run this command to reload our system. Okay. After that, let's enable our, so let's start our Tomcat. So, how to start? So, the command is here. So, row system CTL start Tomcat. And after that, let's enable our Tomcat service. Okay, now let's check the status of our Tomcat, if it's running or not. So let's check. As you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Tomcat on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay. Now, the next step is add roles and admin user and password. So we need to edit this user configuration. So here's the configuration file where in slash op directory, our directory is tomcat. In tomcat, the config directory and in config directory, that's the our file tomcat user dot xml. So we need to edit this file, configuration file, and in this file, we need to add our username and password. So let's scroll down, and here in tomcat under the tomcat user, we need to add our username and password. So here is the password and username so as you can see here my username is devopsint and my password is pwd right okay now let's save the file and exit okay it's done so as you can see here i mentioned note change the user and password values with whatever you want to set your tomcat right okay then the next step is enable Tomcat and host manager remote access. So we have to enable it by editing individually the context.xml file available for Tomcat manager and host manager. So for that, firstly, we need to edit this context.xml and here we need to uncomment lines. So we need to, sorry, comment some line. We need to comment this value line from here. Save the file and exit. Okay, after that, the next file is here. Same for this file, we need to comment some lines here also. Okay, now let's save the file and exit. Okay, it's done. Now we need to restart our Tomcat. Start our Tomcat using this command. 
So the command is here sudo systemctl restart tomcat because we need some changes in configuration file. So now let's see the status. So as you can see, it's active running. Okay, that means you have successfully installed tomcat. Okay, so let's access in browser. So how to access here? First of all, your server IP address and the port number is 8080, right? Okay, so let's copy your public IP, hit on browser and the port number is 8080. Okay, let's take one. So as you can see, the Apache Tomcat 10.1.10 .10 version and this is the latest version, okay. Now, if, if I want to check the server status, then as you can see, it asking me username. So, our username is devopsin and the password is pwd. So, as you can just see the server status, right? That means you have successfully installed Apache. As you can see, the manager applications, right? Okay. Now, the next step is run this catalina.sh file. So first of all, here, if I run the ls command, there is no any call tomcat folder because our tomcat folder is slash opd root. Okay. So if I run the ls command here, as you can see the tomcat, right? So here I'm going to switch to my root user sudo su. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. And now run the ls command, as you can see tomcat. So let's inside the tomcat folder. Now, if I run the ls command, you can see the folder. So, I'm going to my bin folder because our file, this catalina file in this our bin folder. So, let's inside the bin folder. And here, if I run the ls command, as you can see, here the file, right? So, let's copy the name. And we need to start our file. So, first of all, dot slash and the file name, space, start. As you can see, using this base home path and all, you can see the Tomcat started. Okay, now it's done. Now, the next step is here, download the WAR file. So, how to download? So, go to the Tomcat folder and change your location to web apps. So, download the sample WAR file to this location. So, you can download the WAR file from the below URL. So, let's copy the URL and paste in browser. Okay, just to say again. So, okay. So now, here, let's copy the URL from here to here and sample, right? Let's browser to check the sample file. Okay, so here as you can see the sample application, right? So you can see here, here you can run the below command to download, right? So here you can see the example app has been packed as a WAR file can be downloaded here, right? So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to use this here so first of all i'm going to exit from bin folder and if i run the ls command so as you can see the web apps so i'm going to the web apps and if i run the ls command there is no any more file right so i'm going to download from wget and paste the url that we have copied from here if i run the ls command you can see our file sample.var file right okay now is done now the next step is access in browser so go to the browser and access the 
sample file. So how to access? So here is our okay. Here is our Tomcat file, right? So here simply slash and sample. As you can see, hello world application. You can see this is your instance IP and the port number is 8080 and slash time sample, right? So you can see to a JSP page to a servlet. So that's the sample war file that we have deployed. After that, if you have any errors, then you can go to the CD logs, logs file, and you can edit this file and check your error, right? If you have any issue. So we have successfully deployed war file in Tomcat using on Ubuntu 22.04 ATS. So thank you for watching.